Okay, so by now you should have created your domain and got a Windows Server and Windows 10 machine connected and been able to transfer files between each other. Um, so for today, we're just going to create a virtual hard drive as a backup location on the server, which is visible to the Windows 10 machine across the domain. So first of all, just make sure that your um, Windows 10 machine has network discovery turned on. Um, so this machine does know it's going to be turned on and um, so all is okay so as you can see I've got a Windows 10 virtual machine on the left and the server is on the right so if we go to the server first of all and go to disk management and then go to action create virtual hard drive and then in location we'll just um, add desktop for this so it appears on the desktop for easy to save and we'll call the file backup. Okay, we'll just give it um, roughly um, one gig of um, file size just for now, just for this activity. <clears throat> Click OK. And now you can see it's visible down here. So we just need to initialize the disk so it's available. Um, and then we'll give it um, a drive letter. So call it E. Okay, so that's the virtual hard drive created. If you now go to the folder at the bottom, you will be able to select the drive, so right click on the drive and click share with an advanced sharing. Okay, so now you can see the drive path here. Um, if you go to advanced sharing and click permissions, and then make sure the user that's on your domain is added to this. So if I just remove it for now and then add another one, and my user is Alice. Um, so if I click check names, it brings Alice's um, domain name across there for um, login. So I'll click OK and then give her full control to change the drive so I'll click OK and apply and OK again okay so um, as we go on to the Windows 10 machine if you click on the folder option click network and then map network drive you can, you can call it whatever letter you want let's call it the Z drive and then browse on the network. So you don't browse on the network, click server one slash e. So that's the name of my server. So here you can see that's the network path for this drive. And then click OK. Okay, so now I have that drive mapped to my um, Windows 10 machine. So if I just want to test it, I'll just click, quickly open a notepad file. Um, type ipeeps file save as. And then if we save it to the network drive, call it test. Click save. Okay, and close that down, close that down. So you can see it's available here on that Z drive, that network drive. If I close these tabs down and click on my backup on my server, there it is on my server as well. Okay, so hopefully that's made it clear about what mapping network drive is. Um, thank you for watching.